Hey everyone, glad you are back! Even though this whole episode is about the difference between natural and artificial lighting, it's really about money. Well, yeah, as if anyone doubted it. It's about the difficulties and hardships of low-budget shooting, the limitations casted by bad weather, and why cheap life is a bitch in general. Anyway, strike me! Well, after such an annotation, gonna be strange to see the real topic of today's episode in it. How does natural light differ from artificial light? Uh, well, you'll be surprised, but the short answer is it doesn't. Uh, what a twist, right? Light is light, no matter where it comes from. But first, let's agree on the essence of this question, to make sure we all are at the same page. Under a natural light, we usually understand just a huge -ass source emitting particles of light 5600 kelvins of temperature. I'm talking about the sky, obviously. Uh, how is it different from lighting fixtures? There's plenty. Clear sky emits between 50 and uh, 120 thousands of lumens of light and it's totally free. Not bad for, for starters, right? Unfortunately, though, we've just started, but that's where the benefits end. First con. Sun intensity changes during the day, more in the morning and constantly dying out to sunset. Second, sun moves. Thus, if you are looking to take advantage of it, remember to be constantly checking on and adjusting your reflectors and diffusion frames. The later it gets, the faster the sky moves. By the way, the same goes for all the shadows casted by the sun. Keep that in mind, it's important for continuity. Third, every cloud that flies over will drastically affect the picture due to huge difference in brightness. By the way, the temperature of the light also changes during the day, getting warmer during sunset and uh, sunrise and sunset. All in all, unforgivable inconsistency. Well, what do you want? You get what you pay for, though it's free, but it's quite a naughty pain in the arse. Light fixtures are more convenient in all of these cases, although it's impossible to mimic sunlight with just one single, even extra nuclear explosion bright fixture. This is the brightest HMI on the planet. This can use an 18,000 watt lamp or a 12,000 watt lamp. Because the sun delivers two types of light simultaneously. Freaking street magic, I know. A hard light with uh, hard shadows and a fill light due to sky profile acts as a humongous bounce board, reflecting and diffusing the particles. This way, it's a key and a fill all in one. Usually, the sun is recreated by a number of fixtures, a combination of uh, spots and soft lights, depending on the size of the space to be filmed. Sounds like a topic for another episode, how to mimic the sun during shooting in a studio. After all, to sum up all the above, uh, how does natural light differ from artificial? If you have the budget and skills, well, you shouldn't notice the difference. And remember, stay on the bright side until we meet again.